FMW. I know I said this video was going to be about the 2011 iMac, but we've had a change of plan. You've seen the MacBook, the 2006 MacBook. Oh yes. Now, feast your eyes upon... Ignore the fact that it does that. This, beautiful. You might think it's a PowerBook G4. It is actually not. It is... Yeah. Why the keyboard's actually stuck to the... The keyboard has actually stuck... There we, there we go. Right. This... Get down. This is a 2006 MacBook Pro. Same core duo, pretty much. I mean, it's a slightly faster one. Better graphics, all that goodness. It's just kind of falling apart and it's got no screws in it. I got this with another MacBook a few months ago and to be honest, I never even touched it. It's parts only, pretty much. Like, it's got no RAM, no hard drive, apparently. I need to take it apart and have a look. But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's decent. It's decent, you know, it's uh, because we've, you know, destroyed our 2006 Core Duo MacBook. I thought we'd switch to this for a little bit and do some videos on this thing. Ignore the, the messy desk here. I, uh, this is the amount of videos I've made recently. It's just destroyed my desk. So my project for this video is gonna be to get Windows 10 installed on this thing. Now, we never had any luck with the 2006 MacBook. However, I've had a new idea. It makes sense trust me so we've got my gaming PC over here this is my this don't worry this isn't like my serious gaming PC I used to have a 1080 Ti and stuff this is my original gaming PC it's running a Linfield i5 first gen i5 which means the EFI and stuff is kind of out of the question so what I'm thinking is if I install Windows 10 on an external like an SSD on this 32 bit and literally move the SSD into this will it work or will it completely fail on me I, I, I don't know. Let's give it a go. Because you know what? I want to get Windows 10 on this. I want to I want to experience Windows 10. So we are going to have to go and grab quickly. Get, no. Right. It's probably worth just making sure that, you know, this, the, the, the same fault does exist on this one. Because um, if it just straight up boots from a disk, then that's going to be better. Yes. Right. OK. It's got it's got some kind of power. That's good. It's probably worth making sure this actually works as well. Unplug that for a second. I'm going to put that there. Right. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, we need RAM. We uh, okay. I've got some RAM. This is from the 06 MacBook, so we're just gonna eh, shove that in there. Right, beautiful. There we go. Just kind of put that on there. Don't worry about that. Here we go. Oh no, it's come off. No. Let's see if it turns on first of all. Okay, we're gonna hold the old key. The fan has spun up. Um, um, um. Well, this is a slight issue. We had a few technical problems there. I think it's a little bit unstable and only boots like a fifth of the time, but that's fine. We, it will do for this video. So we want to make sure, first of all, that it can actually read our disk. Now, we've got a Windows 10 32-bit disk based off the ISO. If we shove that in there... Um, it's still there. Is the DVD drive stuck? I think the DVD drive is stuck or not working. That's a bit of a problem. Can I get my disc out? I feel like this is a terrible idea, but um, let's just kind of... No, I'm not going to do that. No, it's going to scratch my disc. Okay, I'm going to have to take this apart then. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Right. So we've... Come on. Come on. Are you being serious? No wonder it wasn't going in. There's no drive. There's literally no, there's no DVD drive. <laughs> right. Okay. So aside from me putting in a DVD to a drive that doesn't exist, this MacBook seems to be fine-ish. I mean, the mouse is working. The keyboard's working. This is good. What we're going to do then is we're going to hop over to the PC here. We are going to find an SSD quickly. Just grab, uh, uh, 480 gigs, beautiful. That'll do. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep that. We're gonna um, just power that off for a sec. We are gonna plug this in. Gonna swap it out, and um, we're gonna install Windows 10 from our DVD drive. If I can actually get it to eject. Restart this. No, don't do updates. Just shut down. Where? Ah. Oh. At least it's installing update one of two, not like one of 496. Kind of just faff around, pull these cables out, and then just, you know, plug in our. Oh, beautiful, 480 gig SSD. We need to go into the BIOS. This is a, a proper official gaming setup, definitely. We've got a, the GT430 over here. Whoa, whoa! Right, so we wanna go boot, boot device priority, bang, bang. 
Bang, move that to the top. Bang. Whoa! Oh, I've got a tea here as well. Excellent. I'm gonna just sip that. <sighs> gonna carry on drinking my tea calmly there we go right what uh can this board not boot to 32 bit but that makes no sense i'm gonna leave it for a few minutes because this might just be like efi being weird and stuff because it doesn't know what to do with it but it might boot <laughs> it might boot yes all oh, right okay this is better this is better so I was right, it kind of just hung around with the cursor at the top for a bit, like five minutes, and now it's actually going, which is pretty cool. Yes, okay. And the mouse works, keyboard. Keyboard. Yes. Oh yes. Yes, okay, here we go. I hope I didn't just delete anything important, but I did just kind of delete it without really checking, but it's okay. I'm sure we'll find out when there's information we just lose. Okay, it is actually installing as well. Yippee, right, here we go then. This is easy. I think it's working. I mean, <clears throat> this, this, this is the easy part. This is the simple, straightforward part. You know, installing Windows on a PC as it was intended. The difficult part is gonna be when we move into the MacBook because I <laughs> it might not work. But it's fine. This is like the first time I haven't actually done it on the MacBook directly and I feel like it's probably gonna work. <laughs> I have just realized as well, there's gonna be no bootcamp drives or anything. So we're either gonna have to move them across from the DVD or install my Wi-Fi thingy-majiggy adapter on here because it won't have to drive us by default for the Wi-Fi in this. But if we plug my Wi-Fi dongle into this, then we can use the Wi-Fi because Windows 10 has drivers for it. Let's do that. Lovely, lovely, right. We are in Windows officially. Hopefully this dongle will work on the MacBook. So I'm gonna shut this thing down and then we're gonna plug it in straight to the MacBook. We're just gonna, just gonna pull that. Yeah. Out, there we go, and we're just gonna, okay, we're gonna just you know, lift up the screen. Oh, this is where our drive's gonna go, so we're gonna just kind of shove that in there, and you know, there we go. Right, there we go. Three, two, one, here we go. Are we ready? This is the moment of truth. Will it detect, <clears throat> will it at all detect what I've put in here? Yes, right, hold the alt key. Right, here we go. Maybe that's the trick. Maybe just not touching the keyboard. <gasps> Get, come on. There's no way it was that easy. Could I have done that the whole time with the 2006 MacBook as well? No way. No way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let, let's not destroy the laptop. Let's get our Wi-Fi dongle out the back here. We've got a 408 gig SSD. No big deal for a 2006 MacBook Pro. We've got Windows 10. We've got a Core Duo. We've got a gig of RAM. We've got a gaming PC right here. Let's uh, let's plug this in here, shall we? Uh, give me the desktop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. And the keyboard works. The keyboard works. Drivers are working, okay. It thinks it's quarter to nine in the evening. We've got 2006 MacBook Pro with Wi-Fi on Windows 10. Right, let's go and get our drivers. Right, hopefully this doesn't take about a million years to copy across. It's only like 500 megs or something like that. Well, that's going, let's let's have a little tour, shall we, of the, uh, the, uh, the 2006 MacBook Pro we've got over here. Performance. Oh, right, that's a good amount of RAM being used. Genuine Intel, so it's not a Core Duo, it's a genuine Intel CPU T2400 and it's just idling at 54%. We're using three quarters of our RAM just sat on the desktop. Well, that's fun. Maybe we should try and get some more RAM in this. This isn't very usable. I just plugged in this USB into this side, didn't do anything, so I unplugged it and the whole thing just shut off. I'm, maybe I knocked that. That's slightly concerning. Let's just take that out. Let's put this in there. Oh no. Oh, no, I'll be good. Yeah, we're good. So I've been sitting waiting for this installation for about 30, 40 minutes. It's still going, it's still going fine. Um, it's just taking ages. Now, I'm not crazy. I have copied the stuff from here onto the desktop so I can then install it. It would take a million years otherwise. Yes, here we go, here we go. I think it's about time we restart this and we should have all of our drivers. Here we go, let's hope it actually turns on again. It's not turning on again. I'm hoping like with a few attempts it does work. Uh, MacBook, 
All right, we do have a problem. It doesn't detect a display adapter at all, which is a little bit concerning because we've just installed the bootcamp drivers. So I'm going to dig into this a little bit and I'm going to get the correct drivers installed, hopefully. In the next video, we will expand on this, maybe some gaming on this. Maybe we'll sort out the iMac and get that into a Windows 10 gaming thing or we'll go back to the 06 MacBook. But for now, we are done. We've got Windows 10 installed on a 2006 MacBook Pro. Pretty cool. You know, we've got, you know, it, it's very slow. You know, we've got, we've got a gig of RAM that's not particularly the the greatest this is the first time we've been able to do this in how many videos and it's yeah it's good but for now that will be the end of this chapter thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one